Pug Life brought to you by Colouring Bundles. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creative B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos I make. So today, what I'm doing is I'm going to show you Pug Life, which is coming out from Colouring Bundles. So it's a review about what you actually get, all the different packages. There's a front end package for $17 and there are three OTOs that are $27 each and I'm going to go through all the different things and then I'm going to show you what you can do with this bundle as well as mixing it with different things that you can get from either Creative Fabrica or Daily Art Hub or Pixabay as well and I'm also going to show you how to do some masking in Photopea so stop till the end and you'll see all the different things that you can do with these different colouring bundles as well as another idea that you can have so this is a done for you coloring bundle and it'll help you jump into it and one of the hottest evergreen publishing niches now coloring books are still popular whether it is for kids or whether it's for adults so this is the sales page for the front end product which is 17 dollars and it talks about pugs being a hot niche a proven hot niche now pugs and french bulldogs are usually very popular dogs people always like how cute they are and how mischievous they seem to be so there's 30 high quality black and white illustrations that you get full commercial use license so you can change it you can combine them you can use them with print on demand items such as mugs cushions you can create coloring books activity books even storybooks so SVG and PNG files are included and it comes in an eight and a half by 11 format. So you can do 300, it is 300 DPI print quality. So it's the best quality you've got. And this just talks to you about any of the questions you have. These books are already on Amazon. I've been through and checked on Amazon to see if these books are there and you can do all sorts of different things. So if you have any questions, what if you can't draw? Well, you can use these and you can also add different things to them. So this is the front end and these are what you get examples. So you get uh, a pug that's uh, Christmas in the bath, wearing a Halloween costume, dreaming about eating a bone, actually got a bone eating something else, taking a ride in a dumper truck or dumper lorry, a little angel, uh, pilots getting ECs or sleeps so there's all the different ones there now that is the front end and you get PNG and that is the example of the actual front end so if I go into my folder I can actually show you what it comes so this is what I've saved it as and this is the front end and these are all the images that you've just seen on the sales page and I'll show you different things that you can do with it and you do get the SVGs as well so that is the front end then you get Pug Life Emerald which is OTO1 and that is $27 and you get 60 high quality background designs now I like to buy backgrounds because I don't just use them in that particular coloring book I can use them and interchange them with different packs so that I can make a unique book. So this is what you get with regards to some of the backgrounds that you can use. There's like sort of Christmassy ones. There's also on a bed where you could be having these Z's on the beach, discoing, ball, things like that. And again, you can also use them. Now this is also what you can also get. Now these I wouldn't you could sell them as printables in your Etsy shop without actually changing those because you have the right to do that but if you were going to do KDP I would actually make it more unique ones but again you can change you can keep them like they are on your own store or on Etsy and that is OTO one which is called Pug Life Emerald and that is $27 and I'll show you that I've got access to them here. Let me just emeralds. So there we go. And those are the backgrounds together. And then the separate background that you can use with other books or put different pugs inside different backgrounds. 
So those are the backgrounds. Then Oto 2 is Pag Life Sapphire, and this is where you get dot to dot and trace. So these you can create just dot to dot books or dot to dot um, printable pages that you can put on Etsy or in your own store. That one, that particular book, my my brother has got and has worked through that and loves it and enjoys doing anything that's dot to dot or connect the dots. And these are the examples of them. And it also comes with the trace drawings. Now, the trace drawings are brilliant if you are doing early learning or pre-K books. And you can just slot them in and use them at different times. You don't need to use them all at once. And this as well is $27. And again, I will show you that they are here and you can use all of those. Then the final OTO, again, that is also $27. And this is where you get the colouring ones, which all look very cute. So you get, and you also get the coloured background. So you can actually create your own covers using these, or you can create a children's picture book. You can do a whole story of Patrick the Pug and his day, something like that. That's the sort of idea that I was working on. So that is Pug Life, the colouring bundle, and it launches on the 17th of October 2020 at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and the launch finishes October 24th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you get a front-end product for $17, and then there are three OTOs, and those three OTOs are $27 each. If you're interested in getting it, the link will be in the description, but I thought I'd show you a bit more than just show you the package. So on Amazon, if you just type pugs, it'll show you all the different ideas that you could be doing with this. You could be doing print on demand uh, pajamas or leggings from the different print on demand companies, or you could be doing different mugs that you could be creating or calendars or planners or diaries, or coloring books, dot to dot books, early learning books, pre-K books, signs, different things that you can be taking, also maths, you can be taking all of these and using them not just on Amazon KDP books, but on, in Etsy stores, on Teespring, any of the print on demand, Groovecart, any of those, you can be taking those and using them. But what you need to do is if you're doing KDP and you think I'll do some coloring books or I'll create a book, you need to make it individual. So I've gone into PowerPoint and I've actually gone into design and made this size eight and a half, as you can see. So if I go to page setup, eight and a half by 11. So that is usually the size of any coloring books. But before we go to that, what I want to show you is something about using PhotoP. What I've done is I've actually gone to Pixabay and I've looked through for different images that I might use and different story ideas. But what I've decided is I have decided to download some mandalas. And then I've gone to PhotoP and I'm going to open up one of the pack images. So here Pug life and I'll get one of the front end ones so I'll get this one a Christmas one and I want to remove that background so here if you can see this little object selection by just clicking the corner it brings me an extra uh, menu up so I'm going to click on that I'm going to click on the actual picture and you might not be able to see it but there are little running and running around the pug so all I'm going to do is press delete and it gets rid of the background for me now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of those mandalas that I previously downloaded but I'm going to do open and place because I actually want to put it on top of my pug so I've downloaded that and put it in In fact, I'll try that one. And I'm going to place. And then I'm going to make sure I've clicked on it. And I'm going to go edit, free transform. And I'm going to make it big. And I'm going to move it so it goes over my pug. 
and I can actually change it when see what the different thing is. So now I'm going to go over to this layer and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go clipping mask and it's gone inside my image. So that has created some sort of a unique image that can be colored in. So I could go file and download it or export it as a PNG. So I'm going to export that as a PNG. And yep, let's keep that. Format quality highest. Save. I'm going to name it a new name. A. And then I'm going to go into PowerPoint and I'm going to get that. Insert. Now, the reason why I do insert, not just drag and drop, is because in PowerPoint on a Mac, it actually loses its 300 dpi and actually goes down to 72 dpi. And you avoid that by doing insert picture. Now I know you can just drag and drop on Windows which is a lot easier. So that's just made that slightly different. We can go and see if I do a new slide here and let's go and get that other image. The original image. So we can go Pug Live, original image and we can get that one and put it underneath. Also, what we could do is go into here and we can see that I've looked at some Christmas ones and we've got some baubles, so we could download that. Download. That's fine, the way that's downloading. And then I could do a Christmas tree as well and presents. So let's do that one. Re download. Download again. So again, insert picture from file. that one and then we could have could have any of these really we could have bells we could have angels we could have all those different baubles. We could have the cross. We could have Rudolph. So we could have him. Again, that robot. And then that should start downloading. So in here we've got the bauble. And we could just resize our pug. And we could put the bauble at the top. And we could just duplicate that, duplicate and duplicate. So, and we could also then go insert picture, picture from file. And we could get the Christmas tree. And we could send that backwards, send that to the back. Ah, so we've got this image here so we can remove the background here I'm going to do it mark area to keep as you can see it doesn't have to be perfect So all I've done is taken this pencil and drawn across the different area of the pug and then I go here, keep changes 
and suddenly I've got my plug in front of the Christmas tree. Okay, so to finish this off, I want to put a present. So I have gone to Pixbay like I have with the others and I've downloaded this one and it comes as a group. So I've opened a new slide and let me just move that. I'm going to insert that picture in there. And the problem with this one is it actually has other things on it and I only want one of the gifts this little gift here. So what I need to do is I need to crop. So I need to crop here and then I need to crop here. And then I also want to make sure that I actually get rid of all the other images. So what I do is I click on compress and then I make sure it says delete cropped area of all other pictures. So apply to all pictures in this file or I can just do it selected. So I'll do selected. So I know it's got that. Now the problem is, so I'm going to copy and paste and take to this slide here. It's see-through and I don't want it to be see-through. So the way you can do that, there's no like fill in PowerPoint. So the way to get around it is to actually insert a shape around it. So you can insert a colored shape. Now we want a white fill and we want no outline so and we also want to send it backwards send it to the back now the problem is we've got all this area here that will interfere with the picture so all you need to do is make sure you're on shape format go to edit shape and edit points and basically what you can do is you can bring the points in and you can add points so it goes right round as well so we can bring this one here but we want to come up here so a bit more up here and we want a bit more there but we want a bit more out here so we can keep adding points and maneuvering our image so that it's got some white bits there bring this one out a bit bring this bit in a bit Click on that point there so we actually get a little point there and change that to there and it doesn't have to be spot on and we can right so what's happened there is it's actually gone so if we go over here we can now group that and then we can copy and paste and take over here and as you can see we've got a white background sort of thing so I'm going to delete the old one and we can bring that here and then we can arrange things we can reorder things so now I want the plug on top click OK and we can see now we can also see that it's not perfect that there so let me just zoom in so you can actually see there that that's not quite perfect. So what I can do is I can go to group and group, make sure that I'm on the shape format. So click shape format, edit, it's not letting me because that's it's not ungrouped. Right, now I'm on the shape format. Edit points and I can just maneuver some of these in a bit maneuver that so you can see and then I'm just gonna move that back into place Okay, shape format because I'm not quite happy with it. Edit, edit points, and I can add an extra point here. Oops, it's the problem when it's not actually a graphics package, but it, it's amazing what you can do. 
can actually make characters as well. So let's bring that in a bit. There we go. So I'm just going to maneuver that into place and bring our paragraph back. That is how you can make it slightly individual. So you can also create things like planners and put a uh, little pug embellishments in or you can take let's go insert new and what you can do if you go for any of the others you could do like a storybook so if we go to ruby which is all the color versions you could and i'm just going to drag and drop this I will be changing things. You could actually do like a story. So you could put that at the top. Again, you could keep the background. So picture format, remove the background. So here, we, we definitely want to keep that. So, and then so all the purple area is what we're going to lose. So keep that. And now we can put the insert, say another shape, and we could send that backwards. So we've actually lost our, some of these. Let me just undo. Undo. We've actually lost some of these. And let me make sure we've got everything else. We've got everything else. Okay. So we can move that. And again, so we got insert, shape, and we could. And that backwards and we could put set some text it could be Patrick couldn't wait for the big day Or you could hire somebody to write you your story. So let's change this to 72. Oh, change the whole thing to 72. That's too big. Let's go 30. Right, that's perfect. 30. And we could change that to white writing as well. Change the font colour to white. It's only doing big. That's it for the big day. So you can see that you can start doing a children's storybook using these as well with Patrick. And again, if I'm going to show you something else now, like I say, I actually like to collect all the different backgrounds. So these are some of the other image packages I have got. So these also come in different backgrounds so this one has got Halloween on so Halloween is on its way so we could drag and drop this is a different background completely and I can go and get my pug again from the front end one pug life again, and I can choose something else so he's in his costume there. And again, because it's a white background, we just click remove. Mark the areas we want to keep. So again, just draw lines. Who's the nose? 
And again, draw a line there. Make sure you've got everything. That's everything. Then keep changes. And here we go. We have got a pug ready for Halloween. So that is all the different ways that you can actually start making your book unique. And this was all done in PowerPoint or in Photopea. And Photopea is free. So I'll also put the link in the description. So let's just go through. So Pug Life is launching October the 17th, 2020 at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time until October the 24th, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. It is $17 to buy the front end, which comes with which comes with PNG and SVG files. And you've seen me using different ones to create the books. Then you can also OTO one is Pug Life Emerald, and that is $27, and that comes with different backgrounds. So 30 backgrounds haven't got any pugs in, and then the same backgrounds but with pugs in, and then Pug Life Sapphire, which is OTO2, $27. This comes with dot to dot and trace. And again, you can use them in activity books or dot to dot books on their own. And then the final OTO is Pug Life Ruby. And this comes with colored images that, like I say, you can use in children book story times. Hope you found this useful. If you're interested in grabbing your own copy of Pug Life, the link will be in the description. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos I make. Check out my How to Make KDP Coloring Books, where I use dim bats, and you can combine that with these sort of coloring book bundles as well.